Got the Honda, it's got a right rear wheel sensor malfunction. Looked at the scan data. Not gonna bother showing you that because if you are watching my videos, you probably don't have a scan tool anyway. So nothing wrong with that. Just, you know, just unfortunately, yeah, that helps. Especially when just trying to figure out what's actually going on. So got the ABS light on, all that fun, all those fun lights on the dash. And I took it for a drive and this wheel was responding sometimes and sometimes it wasn't. And as far as the speed, I should say, the speed on this wheel was off and on. And uh, when you look at the freeze frame data, they were, she was doing 36 miles an hour on all three tires and this one was at like almost 60. So something's going on here. This one pushes into the knuckle. So let's just get, let's get this going. First, you wanna jack it up using that little notch right there. That's your Next, take off the 522 millimeter lug nuts. Tucked way in here is the speed sensor. I'm gonna attempt to not remove the axle or anything because I don't think I should have to, but 10 millimeter. lose that so it's extremely loose but it's stuck in there so I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's broke off in there which actually happens a lot get it from the top and the bottom like so work it out All right, since that ain't gonna work. We're going to the vehicle. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna follow this wire up. And right back here is the, is the sensor itself. There we go, unhook that. Needs to, nice to have some needle nose or something back here, but I take that out. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt there, we'll get off and another one up here. Freeze up the wire thus far. It's gonna slip through here. Now I'm just gonna snap this off. Honda has successfully created the strongest speed sensor in the history of speed sensors. So I'm gonna drill it out. I don't know the exact size, so that's why I'm just going up. 930 seconds. There we go. Getting better. Sixty fourth. 
start this job, we're going to remove, let's get the axle out of here. That's a 20 millimeter. We'll take that out and that'll free up the lower control arm. But before we like, you know, finally fully pull that out, we're going to support this so it don't fly down on us. Our gear, this little arm back here. Uh, it's also a 20 millimeter. Start with the nut back here. Bushing looks pretty shot, so let's hope we can even we can get this bolt out. And we're gonna come up here and look. It's coming out. Just slow. So it is moving, that's good. That's good. Definitely wanted to. It's almost there. Punch it out through the center. You know what? It's okay. Not having you know what? I would assume that the other side of this bolt has grooves on it. So that's... Yeah, so here's that bolt. So we'll just, again, always put your nuts back on and everything in the right order. So there's that. We'll knock down that arm and we'll see how much freer we can get this. And then we'll probably have to remove that right there. All right, here's the base of the, I guess this wouldn't be the base of the rear shock, but the one that connects to the lower control arm. There. Let me get that out. I'm gonna get this out so that, okay. there we go, perfect. Just need to drop just low enough so I can get this moving up and down right here. So that's good. I'm going to remove uh, these two bolts here, which will, oh, sorry, there's three, I guess. Four, wow. Two here, two there. They're just nuts on the back. It's going to be kind of hard to get to. I won't be able to film that. So I'll get those out. That'll swing this free. And pretty much I just want to get where I'm able to move, move this. So the bottom two were actually really easy to get to. I just used my air tools and got it off. If you were have even any kind of uh, battery tools or anything like that, yeah, you're good to go. Those come right off the top ones. So far as a pain in the butt, I had to use a, a 17 millimeter uh, shallow socket with a half inch, 18 inch breaker bar to break these things loose because they're pretty rusted on there. So that's how I did those. Um, and then the rest would be just popping them out with I don't know, I'll have to figure that out here in a second. It won't be too hard to separate these two. They're, it's moving. So uh, once this gets out of there, I can just beat them out and hopefully be be, on, be done with it. I can't pull out the axle just yet because it doesn't come in until tomorrow. And um, I believe, yeah, it'll probably leak. So I don't want to do that right now without an axle. Um, and then we'll get the verdict on this guy. Okay, got them all out. Like I said, see, I can remove this now. All right. There. So those two are free. Nice. All right. Now, since the axle is bad. Out 
Okay, pick this up, pull it. Oh, I'm going to have to beat it some more. Ooh, she's, oh, she's crusted on there. Shoot. All right, I'm gonna have to. Actually, no, I didn't. I just had to take this out, pull it. Alrighty, so that's uh, that's it. Got that all out. And now that I got it off, I could see the back of the hub and. I'm starting to see there's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage in this uh, rear hub assembly here. So now we can actually tell why the speed sensor was not functioning properly. It's been some time since I was working on this vehicle again. I don't really know where I left off, to be honest with you, but I do know that we got some new parts in. We got a new axle. This one actually has threads on the end, so that's cool. That works out. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop this old axle out, slap a new one in, and go from there. All right, time to take the hub off. So, got, uh, got a 17 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and buzz off the, the blue caliper bracket. That's all I need off. I don't really, I don't need to take the whole thing apart. Let's set this up here. Now it's also uh, to get this new new hub assembly put on. We're going to need to take off these four. Uh, should be 17. Yep, they are 17 millimeter. So with something like this, uh, you would you would actually be able to, to reach everything from without removing all this. But up until now, I was replacing the axle, which as you've seen, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, it's pretty cool. I use this like thing. I think it's called a thread chaser. Don't quote me on that. I'll put the link in the description. But I was able to actually like clean up the end of these threads, and now this axle now it slides. So it's great now. So I just saved them a bunch of money there. So that's awesome. Gotta love the new tools. And now we can actually beat on the back of this to get the hub out. And hopefully it's nice and will come out. But you did. So there, that's out. Got the new shiny hub. Uh, yeah, like I said, sorry for uh, not filming the whole thread process. I ordered the tool and, and 
or the, the new part and the tool just in case it didn't work because you never know so I wanted to definitely try it out before I made a fool of myself with the camera All right, so there you have it. Got to thread through. I got two started to get them lined up. So it was in theory, these should go right in. Alexa, stop. There you have it. Beautiful. Brand new hub. Spins really nicely. Since I did a lot of this for nothing, at least you guys get to see now. If you had to replace the axle, this is all you do, and that's really all that's left now. That was the hard part. The should be the easiest part is to, you know, just pull it out of the the rear diff and put it in there. So I I, I like to use some axle grease, to help it lube it up in there. Um, since we got all this off, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Sucks I, I didn't film that. That'd been, that'd been cool for to show you guys, but there's probably a hundred of those videos about that thread chaser or that's why I think it's called I think it's called thread chaser. Like I said, it'll be down in the description once I edit the video. Now it's all about just getting these lined up with the grooves of the oh I like that, love the hub assembly. Slide it on in. Let's get everything semi lined back up. Oh, there we go. I'm doing something, I'll use my feet to push it in. There we go, so I can get it a little bit gripped. There we go. That's all I need of that right now. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Okay, we got that bottom bolt in. Uh, it's much easier to take out that other arm before doing that, but now we're going to 17 millimeter. We're going to try to get this. Let's put back in. Using the jack, we're going to... the rear shock in, we got the lower control arm, now we're going to swing around the other side. Alright, so back on this side with the with the lower control arms down as far as they can go while you're on the ground, you can feed that in through. And you can try what you can to get this to maneuver down, but if not, use the jack to lift up.
So what I did to make things easier is I took these four studs out of this arm and then I was able to jack it up and get it as close as I possibly could. There we go. Now it's through both. Now we bring back the jack for hopefully the very last time. Give it a little boost to get these lining up together. Almost. So I needed help to line the four studs with those. Um, I had to, I had to like take my foot against this lower control arm down here, push it this way while somebody lowered this and pulled it. So now it's done. So I gotta get all four of these tightened up. Which should be pretty easy. The bottom two I can get from the bottom. Okay, I really wouldn't worry about doing that. That was kind of a waste of time because that lug nut's really not long enough. Doesn't matter. I should slide right on because nothing was moved or adjusted. All right, so now that we got the 17 millimeter caliper bracket bolts back on, now it's time to finish the job that I was originally hired to do, brand new sensor. Find the bolt to that. Go crazy tight on that because that will snap right off. So there's a little indent in here. We're gonna pass this through. See it? This will line up like that.
And then we're going to direct your attention up there because we're going to plug that in. It's nice and firm. Add that into there. There. There's your new speed sensor, brand new wire. Let's get the tire back on and test everything out. Got the ABS light, got the traction control light. Unplug the sensor, so that's going to be obviously making it unhappy. This was a permanent code if I remember correctly, so that means it was on there for quite a while. Ignored. Okay. Even though those have nothing to do with what I just did. Just clear all that. Now I'll go ahead and click on Let's go ahead and click Honda. I'm going to do a full system scan. Be a little bit. All right, so looking at the speeds, they're all matching up really nicely. Uh oh, trash cans are thrown everywhere. All right, took on a seven or so mile ride, beat the crap out of it a lot. We're all good, we're all good. All right, uh, long video. I'll shorten it up as much as I can in the end. Hope this, hope you liked it. If this helps you, thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop a comment down below. And see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe too. Subscribe helps helps me a lot. Subscribe.